get uh, get at least a snack. Say hello to everybody that's here. We're Do you think I'm letting anyone snack before bed? We are heading to bed. Yep. Yeah. And, and head to bed. That's right. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mom. Oh, she yeah, runs up and hugs you. Oh. <laughs> well, if anyone needs me, I will be passing out in my room. Same here. In the morning. Yeah. 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 Noah's going, do I have a room? Yeah, yeah, Luna, you you can uh, take one of the empty rooms. I'm pretty sure uh, you could take what used to be Dezo's. Okay. Can Cora's looking around and, and spots Kira. Oh, hold on. Oof. Who's this? This is Cortana. She now goes by Kira. It is a long story that we can cover in the morning. Okay. And but right now, due to how late it is, I was going to go to bed. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Well, well and I, for one, am going to go take a bath. Shocking, isn't it? Hearing that from a dwarf. <laughs> yeah. And, Nefa, you do notice something with your dad. He, oh, no. start, he started walking with a cane. The mark grew, didn't it? Slightly, but yeah. Talos gave me a um, medical patch to help uh, soothe it down a bit, but it's getting harder to walk these days. That probably walks over and hugs her father. We're almost done. We're almost done. We'll... We just have one more item to get and then all of this will be over. I am so proud of you, my, my darling. Now, are you sure you're going to go to bed and not work up in your lap like usual? I'm going to go to bed. Besides, I think after everything the party needs to tell you guys, I think Mom's going to hit me over the head by not bringing her to our previous place. Why? Where'd she go? We just got back from the Feywild. <gasps> what? The Feywild? <laughs> you... You went to the Feywilds? Mm-hmm. I knew it. I knew they exist, dear. I believed you just... I cannot comprehend it's a fairy tale, a magical land. It, it actually exists. It actually exists, and there's a way to get to there. But mom, that's not it. What? What's not it? Did you get hit with a fake cur curse? Purple? No. Purple polka dots on your face? Face? No. No. It's start. Cracking like a duck? What? What? Mom, Mom. I met the Queen. You. You. 
Your mom's face goes pale. You, you, you met the queen. Was she everything? She's as beautiful that was... as she told me. She's as beautiful as she told me, and she has a heart of gold. Oh, sweet gods. Oh, sweet Ogma. <laughs> Um, I think your mom's gonna need a few more minutes to process it. Um, I'll handle it for the, for the rest of the night. You relax. You need it. Thank you. I'll see you two in the morning. See you in the morning. And she hugs her father and hugs her mother before going to bed. And right now, Mom XZ, um, crashed. <laughs> yeah, Nefrite's, Nefrite had to tell her parents that she met Queen Tatiana. He's just checking up on his father. Yep. And you see your father's head tilt a bit. And he says, Lucius, my boy, he's got this wide, toothy grin as he sees you. But you are getting better. Yes, I can finally talk so slow at other parts of my body nurses have been nice taking care of me especially that uh, Dark skin lady. But I am glad to be able to talk with you. These nods. I have no idea how long you were in that chamber. Mm. Or how long it took you to fully recover. I know. I miss you growing up. I miss you. Your first words, your first steps. I can introduce you to those that did raise me. And they can tell you about all about those things. I would like that and thank them for help for raising you to be the man you are today. You can start to see your father tear up a bit. Don't stress yourself too much. I just wanted to let you know that I was back for a little while. You know, see how you were doing. I have the determination of you in my mind. Just thinking 
of maybe one day walking beside you is giving me strength to, to move. <laughs> a while, but I'm sure with determination and magic I'll be on my feet in, in no time. I look forward <clears throat> to that day. Me too. Best that you get rest and sleep now. Getting late. You too. Good night. Bob. Good night, son. So anything else anyone wants to do before the night ends? I think we're all in bed sort of idea. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, everyone's in their bed, so... Yep. You know what that means. No dream sequence? <laughs> I'm kidding. Just give me a moment. You'll all wake up in this garden. You feel the air cold. Even though this garden seems to be teeming with life, it seems lost, dead. What do you do? Mm. Everybody okay? Yeah, I'm good. If you're... Uh, wait. Uh, Arvin's gonna go to one of these plants and try to figure out if they're what they are, if possible. Um, perception check. Give me a second. I thought it'd be nature, so give me a second. Perception. perception. <clears throat> well, I said perception because you look at the um, the face and kind of feel like the leaves are more made out of like. It has a shine on it that makes it 
feel like something is plastered on to preserve it. Bugman will keep that information to himself for now. Um, what's with the gazebo? You don't recognize it? I shouldn't be surprised since it has been a while since you've seen it. You see, uh, Wait, weren't we? Yep. Green tornado uh, appear on in the center of the gazebo, and when it disperses, you see Alanta here. Yeah, that's right. Um, Nigelia, we weren't we here at a similar place before? Yes. When I pulled you from the nightmares and brought you here to deal with the threat of Saloon. But now I've pulled you here because there has been a bit of a, a wavelength that has disturbed this place. And I believe it had something to do with Cortana, which now you called Kira. How and or why would it have anything to do with Kira? Because now she is proof that the Canary can leave this place, join with her with a host, and live a normal life. has filled the canary with hope that now they're willing to do anything and anything to get that life that she has now. The big difference though is that they're probably willing to be forceful about it when with Kiara it was more mutual. Correct me if I'm wrong, everyone. No, 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 on the mark. Yes. And in turn, they've already started me that plan already. I fear for the people in the mortal world. And I fear for the forceful outcome that is to be happened to the Canari when their plan fails. Forceful outcome. Do you know what happened to the Canari when you banished him from the bo body in Nigelia? They will come out into the mortal plane and be a weaker to an attack. They'll attach extinction. Itself. Yes. Uh, I'd like to be filled in here because uh, I wasn't with you in that saloon, salon, wherever it was, town. And neither was Hole near. Uh, for the sake of time, Nephrite will give a cliff note version explaining Nagalia. The first battle against the Canari, which was just a small one, then the major battle against the Canari on the mortal plane. As well as the major battle against the Canari on their home plane, i.e., here. Okay, that's terrifying. But may also result in the genocide of their own kind in the mortal plane of fun. Mm -mm. It's full on extinction. Think about it on a grand scale. If every single Canari tries to do the exact same thing Kira has done, 
no Kanaris would be left within the dreamscape. They would strictly be on the mortal plane. And if all of them were knocked out of their host bodies, they would be weaker to an attack within the mortal plane since they have no control. You kill Kanari on the mortal plane, they cannot respond. They are completely and utterly dead. I'm sadly going to play the, as the saying goes, devil's advocate. So correct me if I'm misremembering that right. But don't they work for a certain you-know-who? Hmm? Just because they work for her, that doesn't mean that she's going to be willing to bring them back. I know, but I'm saying, like, their extension could be a good thing in the devil's advocate way. Do I want it that way because of Kira? Hell no. But we are getting way off track right now. Yes. It seems that someone is trying to open the door for the Canari to do what Kira has done, but that would lead to nothing but devastation and heartache for either side. And I believe the so person So you want us who... to try and close the door? Yes, and I believe the one who is opening the door is the one that is working with the Order. To my knowledge, we only have two targets left. That either be a certain knight or the... I won't say anything more. Out of respect for some of us. Technically, it's a third option, and that third option is the one thing that's trying to help us get the last item we need. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about him. But we have no recollection of them having any control to get in or out of the dreamscape willingly. Which leads us to, again, your previous two options. Yes. You are all going to go through a difficult time with your next part of the journey. Especially if the Order will no hold nothing back to achieve their goal. So I implore you to trust in those those hands hands of your friends and follow your instincts they have not guided you wrong so far I was about to say otherwise but then he's like you're not wrong even if they have led to insane situations but also I have Thought I call you here to give you a warning because one, another one of the gods is starting to become aware of, of this place and the fact that she's been split and she's a wild card. I don't know what she's planning to try to accomplish and I believe mm -hmm. some of you have met her already. Uh, Kat, do I need to roll history to see who is Alanta implying? Uh, Gav... To... Pardon? Yes. Pardon, Ogman? No, I was about to say, I think I know out of character, but I'll let... But uh, let you continue your thing, Kat, sorry. Yeah, it's history with advantage. Because, Kat, I am going to quickly whisper to you, because I, I cannot remember the name, but I remember what the... They are the goddess of. Uh... 
Yep, you know it, and... Augment, that is correct. It's the Goddess of Pain. The only two people that would... Nephra gives a sharp look at at Holnir. We both oh. met her. Remember the woman I told you about that? Oh, we know. I. I told no. Yeah. On board the on board the boat when we were headed towards uh, towards the islands with along. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Ninjas. When, on the boat towards ninjas. And Holnir, didn't you tell us that you had a dream with a woman of the same description? That I told no. You see, um, you see Holnir, uh, scratch his chin. I don't care, correct me if I'm wrong, Cat, but did Augment also have that room where he met with her as well, or no? I don't quite remember my dreams. Um... Augman, no. Uh, but there was a third person who has seen her in, her, in the dreams. Third person? Yeah, out of character, it was a liege. I do remember a dream with a cover with a woman. We were talking about the past. Hmm. Hmm. I don't quite fully remember. Even if you do not remember, she remembers you. You're the first person that actually made her generally smile. Hmm. But yes. It kind of has an effect on people. No, yeah, holding can make anyone smile. I believe that. But yes, she is the goddess of pain, and she is the goddess of poison's sister. <laughs> Well, isn't that just lovely? I knew! <sighs> so that's what you were trying to tell me the last time I spoke to her. Not for you. Don't kill me for suggesting this. Please don't kill me. Maybe... I'm in the dreamscape. I can't kill you without... I can't kill you with my bare hands. Humor me, though. Do you think it might be a good idea to get her on our side to help deal with her sister? No. No. I'm not going anywhere near that goddess or her lineage within a five-foot pole. It was just an idea. It was just an idea. I don't give a damn if she is split. When you knew that she was in my dream, or I was in her head, why didn't you tell me? I did try. At the very but... least, you could. At the very least, you could have tried harder and stopped me, so I, at least I could have gotten a better concept of what was going on. Here's a question: Would you have listened to me in your state of anger? Honestly, it's a high possibility that I would have, because I trust you more than her. I see. Well, consider it my, a bad judgment call on my end. You look like you needed space. And I needed to be alone with your thoughts. 
I was will willing to hold her back so she wouldn't interfere with you anymore as you walked away. I appreciate that. But now that we know that she's a wild card and she's met at least two of us in both states of her mind, what other tips, tricks, or warnings should we know about her the next time she meets any of us? She will do everything and anything to make you feel the pain of loss. She believes that loss can actually lead to enlightenment. That loss can create and loss can reform. Don't let em emotions wild you up while you're with her, no matter what she says. <laughs> Out of character, Ogman knows the face looking at him directly. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong, Sam, because you know Ogman's a little bit emotional in situations. Some of them are. Pardon me, I didn't. You cut off part way. I said both of them are. Okay. But why is she doubling down on all of you in terms of of what she defies as loss. That baffles me. Maybe it's only for time for her sister's plan can actually go through fruition. Or as I said, could she be looking out for allies to stop her sister? It's You always have to take things like that into account, Never, and I'm sorry for sounding rude. But... There could possibly be I don't know if she's for or against her sister. She even baff baffles me with that, with her attentions. The most I can do is wait out and see what she has planned. I then try to come up with some quick thing to stop it, but as of right now, you all have more pressing issues on your mind. Like stopping the order. And stopping the canary before they lead to either their demise or their extinction. Yep. Well. Mm. I'm gonna just fakely write on his hand. Uh, so much to do and so much on our plate to fill. Uh. Our plate keeps getting fuller and fuller with more stuff to do. Problem is, unless we can take out those that they look up to, convincing them to pursue a path of peace. Difficult? I don't know. You've made peace out of difficult situations before. With individuals. And those individuals can change the course of the world if they if they so choose. about who you Even can sway to, to lead, lead the world into a brighter future. And keep in your heart the ones you can rely and trust. And with that, you see the bright light um, of the waking world drown you all as you all wake up. Well, that was fun. Ogden mutters to himself in Orcish. 
I will now mute because then to give more people their chance to speak. Nefra will stretch and yawn to try and wake herself up for the new day. Yep. Kira does the same with the abbot on this off. It is good to be back in this bed again. When Snow gets up, he'll just uh, head to the head and way outside the bathroom while uh, wait for uh, Augment to finish and wash up so he can get ready to make breakfast. Morning. When did when were you ever gonna tell me you guys were back? In the morning. Which is now. I was just told by the guards that you came back last night. Yeah. I figured everybody was already asleep. I hope I point taken, but, but still, you could have just had a quick eye or something. So, we do need to have at least some of us meet with the Queen and fill her in on the latest news. But I would also like to. Uh, I'll meet with you and start working on my project as well as helping you out. Yes, yes, yes. And the queen already knows that you guys are here. She'll she says she'll be happy to see you whenever. So we'll, we'll probably go ahead and you know Wake up, fresh ourselves, have breakfast, and uh, see if the queen is available at that time. Hi. Queen, I'll expect you whenever it's convenient for you. And I will see you in my lab sometime today. But I'm okay. <laughs> Five seconds later, Russ, okay. <laughs> yes, I yeah, made that so reference to me. I'll we'll head in to take a bath and just uh, just fast forward really quick that he do does and we'll head down to the kitchen. Yep. Apparently there's a lineup for the bathroom today. I was tempted to make a young Frankenstein joke, but uh, I I you know I I cut back and uh, never mind. Would it not be said we all are nice and clean from having a good bath? Mm. 
And as time goes as time goes on, Nefrite will take her bath, wrap herself up in a towel, and come out of the bathroom. Morning, Kira. Your turn. Morning. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 Aspirin, wait! <laughs> and she is walking back towards her room to get changed. I'm sorry, I just had this mental image of Kira trying to give Aslan a bath. Yeah, let's Aww. give the cab with Yeah, let's give the cab with fiery rings a bath. Oh, no, he's so I think cute. No, you don't know what I was thinking? Kira just laying in the bath and it's just like the cat's resting on her head. I suddenly got that Barbie movie scene in my head. Hmm? Uh, don't know if you guys ever remember the Barbie Princess and the Popper movie. Yes, I do. Now thank you for making me feel old. Because <laughs> I had okay. that on freaking VHS. Let's continue on before we get distracted. Yeah, so whenever yeah. you're ready, no cooking utensils with advantage. You guys are familiar with the kitchen. Advantage, so I don't forget. Ugh. We were one away from marking it. Oh well. Okay, so yeah. you fought to try to make some of the dishes you saw in the Feywilds for here, but you're not quite, you don't really know the, the recipes off by hand, and you don't know what kind of ingredients to use. So, while you make a decent breakfast, it's not really as special as it was in, in the Feywilds. Yep. And he's just relieved he's not going to have to crack open any uh, cans of what, whatever whatever the equivalent of SpaghettiOs would be in here. Seriously, I want SpaghettiOs to be canon in Alphateria for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. I have my small box stick if I need to use it. I know, I know. I even have my big one, but I'm using that for different situations. No, oh, we're fine. <laughs> but continuing on, because just, I think at this point in time, everyone is just like finishing up their bathroom stuff and then heading to the kitchen. Boulder. He took his bath last night. That's because he was smart. I mean, was too tired. Flash, I needed to go AFK. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was more like, would you uh, go to bed? Would you go to bed covered in dirt? Depending on well, how you're the one who rolled in the dirt. <laughs> I know. Exactly. Well, better than rolling in the deep, but. Mm, thank you, Adele. If we keep getting distracted, I will buff everyone here, including myself. Sorry. <laughs> oh, do you seriously need to be drinking this early in the morning? Alnir <laughs> pauses in his drinking and looks at Ogman with a look of seriously? If you die from the from drinking too much alcohol, do not come crying to me. He raises his highbrow even further. Just all I gotta say is, as Nephrite, apparently you never spent time with a dwarf in the morning, have you? Besides with this group, no. Remember, I used. Did you forget? She drinks coffee. We drink beer. Or whiskey, depending on who you're talking to. Alright. Uh, so we're just waiting on a, le on a leash then. Yeah, meanwhile, Nor uh, Luna's going, So this is what real food tastes like. 
It's been a while. Mm-hmm. Trust me, it could have been better. Just one of my off days. If this is one of your off days, I hate to see you on your on your best day. Well, you should have seen those sandwiches I I made in Iron Maw a couple months ago. Oh, really? Yeah, they, they must have been nearly like six inches tall. Wow. I have to try that. Yeah, I'm trying to think of giving it a name. The Null Sandwich. No, I was thinking the Jughead. <laughs> and I am not apologizing. <laughs> For that storm, you get a light bop. With the small Thank you. bop. Yes, I saw that coming. Continuing on, though. So, in order, what are we doing first? Meet the queen and then figure out where to go next, or what? Uh, the mom, mom and Chop's going, First off, Feywild, what happened? Yeah, I kind of told her last night. Well, when I got there, I hmm, tripped, fell down a hill, ran to the guards. Then before leaving, I ended up getting tripped by my shoelaces getting tied together. Nothing much. But that's for me. That's don't know about all of them though. For the sake of time and just me be me. Cliff Note version from Nephrite. So, me and the Queen of Greymoor and how she was a complete and utter female dog early on meeting her. <laughs> um, having to do the trials to prove that we are worthy to go around Greymoor while also trying to rescue Kira. Going to a mirror realm where we had to face our deepest desires, each of us varied. And we saw the birth of Kira in said uh, mirror realm. And on top of that, met, gone through the Mother of Magic's temple to get everything we needed. Note to self, never tried to do any potion puzzles with this party because they took forever trying to narrow it down. Don't forget about the metal puzzle. Oh yeah, and the liar's puzzle. Again, never do that kind of puzzle with them because three people will make you second or triple guess yourself even though you're right from the jump. Looking at two of them right now. Um, At the tail end of it, we met Mistra and her closest friend before she became a goddess. Got her artifact, then met back up with the Queen again to work out an agreement with Greymoor. Then met the fake, then met the Spring Queen at the Feywild. Did I forget anything? Uh, uh, Kira kind of read your mind a bit. You forgot to, you forgot to mention that you actually talked with Zeri. Oh, yeah, and one of the curses that, well, one of the pranks me and Nal went through, well, myself, Nal, Kira, and Quinn went through, mine was, I got to go to Zuri. Like, literally talk to him. For 24 hours. Nal just shined bright like a light bulb for 20, for about four hours. No, that uh, was Holdnir. That was Holdnir. Oh, Holdnir yeah, was Nal shining sword, like a crystal uh, ball. Not so much yeah, saying, was singing, right? Quinn got a rain cloud over his head, Elise um, had chocolate coins all over him, and Kier and Cortana fart sparkles. <laughs> I didn't get much chance to do anything with the sword. Oh well. Not that I forget everything. Not that I forget anything. 
I think you're good. But your dad's kind of honed up with the... You talked to Zuri. That must have been a uh, rare opportunity. Uh, did say anything he doesn't like? Is there anything he said that we need to change? Should we add a voice box to him? I have been putting that on record for months, but I never had the chance to actually do it. But he said a voice box would be wonderful for him to have. Well, consider that our first project when we get this whole mess sorted. And <laughs> your, fa and your father leans forward to scratch Zuri under his chin. Well, Zuri just leans into it. But still, though... And as is... for what he likes, after what he likes or something that he wants me to full-on get off my chest, Nefra kind of blushes a little bit, is regarding myself and my feelings for somebody in the party that the rest of them are well aware of. A leash. I confessed this to Zuri our first night in the Feywild. But I didn't want to say it out loud because I didn't want to take our mind off of the mission or get my hopes too high because I didn't want to be too embarrassed. But Zuri told me to face that fear and full on tell you that I love you. And I would like for us to become a full couple. But I don't want to force you into it. Please, Dobson looks at her. Uba is dancing around Nephrite. And says, I would be pleased to do that, although there are some fears of my own regarding our mission, but I don't want that fear to get in the way. We can tackle the fear together when we cross it. Okay. Uh, if I make a perception check with advantage, please. Oh, we're crying out loud, Kira. No, I think it's because Alfred's head is going off. <laughs> no. <laughs> you said perception, right? Yes, they have advantage. Mark, no, <laughs> I got it. Yeah, you you can kind of see both your parents are trying to hold in their excitement, but they're they're just beaming with uh proud and the oh my god, my baby is growing up looks. <laughs> Also, that Man. was the very first Nat 20 of the year. Yay. Yep. Da, 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 da. And there's one more thing since I never actually go by this. And add a character. This is something that is in my little channel for you guys to read later on if y'all haven't read it yet. I saw it. My last name. It's Adios. From my father's side. So, from now on, you guys can continue calling me Nephrite, 
or y'all can call me by my real name. Nefreda Dios. I'll stick with Nefreda, it's easier to remember. <laughs> yeah, they're still trying to trying to get around my new name. I think having the same name probably would make things a lot easier. <laughs> Had a feeling. And if anyone else wants to change their name, I will... If any one of you try to change your name, I will literally do this. He says Avalon has a rolled up newspaper <laughs> before dismissing <laughs> it. <laughs> Remember, I can do that with any weapon I want. It's you not have really way too much fun with name. That. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it's not really changing my name. It's just revealing my last name since I hardly ever go by it. <sighs> well, you guys already know my my first name now. I have added to I I more of a discovery issue. Yeah, I just thought I'm gonna go across the table. Augment, Augment, please, mercy, mercy. Don't worry, this is not targeting you. This is targeting someone else. <laughs> mercy on a leash. Well, with two fears conquered already, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I believe we have an audience with the queen, and then we'll try to navigate on where the hay we're going. Well, I need to see if I can finish my project of the items before we are contacted by our ally. Actually, while we're home, does anybody need anything? Nothing for me. I'm fine. I said right now I'm fine, but uh, do you guys mind if the if the cat stays here for for now? I don't want her running amok in the palace. Of course, it's nice to have a little kitty around. And she is so adorable. Uh, Luna looks to you now. What should I do? Uh, I'm, I'm here in the mortal world and I have no idea where to go. Well, maybe, uh, for now, just to. Uh, I guess, come with us to uh, join an audience with the Queen. I guess an inform an unofficial emissary for Greymore for now. That should be very interesting. Well, it's, uh, I don't- I just don't want to keep it cooped up here in the keep. Might as well. 
join us, I suppose. Thank you. Everyone, yeah, if anyone, everyone's okay with that. I'm fine with that. All right, then. So, question. Do you guys want to go see the queen tonight? Tonight? It's the morning. Uh-huh. <laughs> this session. I know. Yeah, Session-wise, uh... Personally, I'm fine with it, but... I'm, again, majority rules. Uh-huh. I'm good with it. It's uh, about ten minutes to seven. That's why I'm asking I'm everyone. I'm I'm personally okay with going a little longer. I'm getting a little tired. Okay, but so if we'll... Want, if you want to have a lead, uh, just check in and then go to uh, Trellis's lab, then that's fine. Well, I figured that after everyone's audience with the Queen, you all go up to Trellis's lab anyway. I'm okay with picking up this during the next session. Okay. I then since every, some people are starting to get tired, we'll end the session there tonight. All right. Hmm. Uh, and we will pick it up next week. Do not look to me, I did not play that. No, I accidentally played that. It, on my side, sorry. I am regretting so much right now. No, that was a YouTube video. Yeah, though, down in the videos tab. Ah. You were playing it on your phone. And it. That's why I have my. That's why I have my uh, the volume on my turn. phone turned down. I, I keep forgetting to mute myself. <laughs> yep. With my freaking you, uh, yeah. uh, Also, you could also uh, turn the volume on your phone all the way down, just so you're not interrupted. That wasn't my phone. That was my computer. Oh. I swear. Uh, yeah. I gotta fix this thing. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. The session was fun. Yep. Yes. Yep, I'm so glad. And I'm also now can't hear me when I says, hopefully you like my little bit of like my shoes got tied up just as we were leaving sort of idea. Do your shoes even have laces? I do not know. I just did that for a joke. It would be interesting if the Pixies just put the uh, laces on the shoes just to make the, just to pull that prank. That's in their real I wouldn't house. Put it past them. Yep. <laughs> that was just off the top of my head. Uh, back, what did you miss? Uh, we're, everyone's going to head off to the Queen next session. Okay. Again, sorry if I missed anything at the tail end of the session. I have to help my mom. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Mm. Well, what'd you think of this session? It was fun and lighthearted for now. Mm -hmm. Yep. And on top uh, of that, we, we started early. Up. We started on time and we're ending early. Yep. <sighs> yeah. And cat, quick idea for just to save time. On our way to the uh, queen, we just dropped quite off with the with his father. Sound is that okay with everyone else or no? That's okay with me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have a better idea just so we don't completely drop him off off the map. Um, 
it'll, it'll just be a bit of role playing between me, myself, and I. Just um, give it a moment, okay? Okay. Well, moment of off-screen stuff. Yeah. Of uh, like behind the DM screen stuff. Yeah. <laughs> 